All right, continuing with refuting Edward Fenninger's satanic heresy that salvation has always been the same in every dispensation. In this clip, he says that there was eternal security in the Old Testament. This is just the Holy Spirit operated differently and that kind of stuff. You know, I've heard that argument from these non-dispensational heretics quite a lot. Well, the Holy Spirit, because they'll have to explain away the verses like Psalms 51:11, where David is saying, take not the Holy Spirit from me. Let's say, well, when it says taking out the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit could depart from people. It doesn't mean they've lost their salvation and, you know, typical heretical arguments. I'm going to show you that this is not the case. But here's a clip of him uh, spouting this heresy. Holy Spirit could leave and did not perform the sealing work. His sealing work. Yeah, they won't save by getting sealed by the Holy Spirit. They were saved, as you see in John 10, by being held in the hands of the Father. New Testament, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit abides with the believer forever and seals the whole believer until the day of redemption. See that? They said it false comparison. Because the Old Testament saints were preserved a different way than New Testament saints doesn't mean they didn't have eternal security. They're lying to you. They're suckling you. So the heretic Ed Fenninger says, oh, the, the Holy Spirit just operated differently. You know, they're still preserved and, you know, it just heresy with no end. Let's see about that. Were they preserved in the Old Testament the same we are, same way we are today? Were they eternally secure in the Old Testament? Because we are eternally secure today. That is true. Ephesians 1.13, Ephesians 4.30, and 2 Corinthians 1.21 and 22 say that we're sealed with the Holy Spirit. God seals us. Okay? You can't lose your salvation. But was this the case back in the Old Testament? Because, again, they try to refute, oh, the Holy Spirit could depart from people. Let's see about that. Were they preserved in the Old Testament? Exodus chapter 32, verses 30 to 33. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moses said unto the people, Ye have sinned the great sin, and now I will go up unto the Lord. Preventure, I shall make an atonement for your sin. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, O, oh, this people have sinned a great sin, and have made them gods of gold. Yet now, if thou wilt forgive their sin, and if not, blot me, I pray thee, out of thy book which thou hast written. And the Lord said unto Moses, Whosoever hath sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. We're going to get back to this thing of being blotted out. Deuteronomy chapter 9, verses 13 to 14. Furthermore, the Lord spake unto me, saying, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Let me alone, that I may destroy them, and blot out their name from under heaven, and I will make of thee a nation mightier and greater than they. And what's going on there is that God is telling Moses, you know, just let me alone, I'll just make a nation out of you. Uh, and obviously Moses intercedes for them. But again, we're going to address this thing of being blotted out, because it destroys Ed Fenninger's heresy. Deuteronomy chapter 29 Verses 19 to 20. And it come to pass that when when it come and it come to pass when he heareth the words of this curse that he blessed himself in his heart, saying, I shall have peace, though I walk in the imagination of mine heart to add drunkenness to thirst. The Lord will not spare him, but then in the but then the anger of the Lord and his jealousy shall smoke against that man, and all the curses that are written in this book shall lie upon him, and the Lord shall blot out his name from under heaven. And last verse, Psalms 69, 27 and 28. Psalms 69, 27 and 28. Add iniquity unto their iniquity, and let them not come into thy righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and be and not be written with the righteous. So, you notice here, blotted out from under heaven, blotted out of the book of the living. What does it mean to be blotted out of the book of life and blotted out from under heaven? In order to be blotted out of the book of the living and blotted out from under heaven, your name has to have originally been there. So your name, you can't be blotted out of something if your name was never in there to begin with. So, in order to be blotted out from under heaven and blotted out of the book of the living, your name has to have originally been in there, but then you lost it. You were kicked out. They were not eternally secure back in the Old Testament. They could lose their salvation. They could be blotted out of the book of, the, of, book of life.
That simple. Uh, they were not sealed with the Holy Spirit. They were not preserved like we are today. Uh, 2 Timothy 4.18 talks about how, you know, Paul says God will preserve it under his heavenly kingdom. This is, that was not the case back in the Old Testament. You could lose your salvation, contrary to the heresies of Ed Fenninger and other non-dispensational heretics. So don't believe, don't believe this satanic heresy from uh, Fenninger that, oh, salvation is always by faith alone. It's a damnable heresy, very, very satanic heresy. So don't be deceived. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, with all the brethren, goodbye.